Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm presenting on applying ethnographic decision tree modeling in IS research. The motivation for uh, researching on this is driven by the need to understand how uh, people make real life decision choices which have important implications for individuals and organizations. Various approaches have been explored within IS to study choice, but there is still limited understanding of how individuals make natural choices uh, when they are faced with uh, many alternatives. Hence, a multidisciplinary study can benefit um, by using ETTM approach to understand choice. Um, this um, approach was developed by uh, Christina Gladwin in 1989, and uh, it is a naturalistic approach which has been used in other fields to understand choice. Uh, a descriptive decision techniques is underpinned by the theory of real-life real choice and assumes an interpretivist epistemology. Um, and also, the procedure for understanding uh, this uh, is as uh, presented by Gad Ganda, uh, 2017, uh, who sh uh, showed how the um, articles can be selected to ensure there is rigor. And this process was followed, uh, resulting in the selection of 34 articles which indicate the ETTM uh, steps, which uh, were then uh, recommended. The findings uh, show that over time there has been a low but increasing number of articles using the ethnographic decision tree modeling approach to understand individual choices, uh, which shows that ETTM is uh, growing in terms of uh, acceptance uh, in the area of uh, research. And also this uh, um, there are articles um, uh, which have been published in various uh, fields, which include ICT, environment, uh, family studies, health, agriculture, to show that this research is, uh, method is acceptable, is an acceptable approach and has been used in various uh, fields. And uh, in addition to that, we also find that this approach has, uh, though still new, has been uh, uh, used for articles published uh, in highly ranged journals showing 75, 79% uh, of articles uh, from the ranked journals and 50% uh, of them in the first uh, quartile as ranked by the CIMACO uh, journal ranking. So it shows how this methodology can actually be useful. Uh, in terms of contributions, ETTM has implications in IS research when theory informing research variables is at an early stage uh, to cross-validate research findings using different methodologies to strengthen our understanding of uh, choice-related issues and even to get insightful understanding of factors that influence uh, the choices. So EDTM can be used for various uh, reasons um, and uh, IS researchers can combine EDTM with other methodologies to get richer contributions. As a way of an example, a grounded theory methodology can be used to develop theory from the decision trees and the phenomenology can be used to better understand the commonality of lived experiences of a particular group. So ETTM can be used uh, in IS in combination with other methods. In this study, I use ETTM for study two uh, and study one uses qualitative content analysis, study three uses uh, grounded theory to understand consumer choice of digital payment methods with multiplicity of channels under the supervision of Professor Iwin Brown and I am Kanisa Malufu, PhD Information Systems Candidate at University of Cape Town. Thank you very much for uh, taking your time to listen to this presentation. The full article is available at the AIS Electronic Library as the, the reference is as presented there. Um, Enjoy reading the article.
Thank you.